Now to California, where seemingly an endless a barrage of storm fronts is wrecking havoc all across the state. Thousands are still under evacuation orders in Northern California, which has been hammered by days of heavy rain and powerful winds. Carter Evans is in hard hit Santa Cruz County, south of San Francisco. Carter, good morning. Good morning. This is the San Lorenzo River that you see behind me, and it's just one of many rivers that have already flooded it with more rain on the way. The flooding may not be over just as many people are cleaning up from the last storm. It's a race to clear the roads before the rain begins again. Rescue teams in Sonoma County found one woman deceased in her submerged vehicle as floodwaters overwhelmed roads in wine country. She's one of at least 18 people killed by the series of severe storms. We are not out of the woods yet. We had perhaps more air rescues than we've ever had on any other single day in the state's history. So far, the storms dumped more than two feet of rain in some areas. The Pajaro River bordering Santa Cruz is already overflowing. So is the Sacramento River, where residents are being forced out by rising water as more storms are expected through the weekend. In the Bay Area, Jose Alvarez spent the day emptying rain buckets after 70 mile per hour winds tore the roof off his apartment. We hear this loud uh, bang. Before we knew it, there was water just pouring inside of our beds and uh, our clothes and everything. The water came up to here. Howard Berman is still cleaning up after river water flooded his home. He took this photo from the second floor. Everything you could see here was just covered in rushing water. It's great living on the river. It's not so great living in the river. Near San Luis Obispo, the heartbreaking search continues for five-year-old Kyle Doan on what would have been his first day of kindergarten. He slipped from his mother's arms during a rescue attempt in a flood. His last words to me was, Mommy, it's going to be okay. Just be calm and everything will be okay. That water is so dangerous, and this river behind me isn't the only one that people are worried about. There is concern the Salinas River, about an hour south of me, could flood and potentially cut off major roads. If that were to happen, it could strand about 50,000 people on the Monterey Peninsula. And, Nate, that includes an entire naval base. Carter, thank you.